Welcome back everyone to the Reinhardt's Rundown. Today we are talking about smoking cessation and more specifically how to be less awkward and a little bit more genuine with your patients. A lot of times we end up feeling uncomfortable talking about this. That can make the patient uncomfortable and even irritated to have to keep bringing it up. If you haven't seen the videos on the five A's, go ahead and take a look at that. The link is in the notes for you. And let's talk here about some strategies for advising patients to stop smoking without making it awkward. Step one, pay attention, find their why. Figure out what aspect of life is bothering them and what might be their motivation to quit and then prompt them to recognize that their smoking might be worsening that symptom or aspect of their life. Step two, demonstrate empathy and genuine care. It's rare that someone is going to take major life change advice from a total stranger or from someone that they don't have an existing relationship with, or at the very least, someone they trust. Building rapport and really expressing concern for your patient in a genuine way is important. Step three, give them options other than yes or no. Ask them what they think or how they might feel about a suggestion to quit. Let them drive the car a little bit. This makes it feel less stressful and less pressure for everyone. An example of steps one through three. Mr. Jones, I notice your breathing is a bit worse this visit and I really hate to hear it's affecting your ability to take your daily walks. Your blood pressure has also been running higher. I'm starting to worry about the impact of your tobacco use. Of course, I need to strongly advise you quit. And I know I mentioned that every time I see you, it can feel overwhelming, so we're not gonna force it until you're ready. How would you feel though about attempting to quit in the next month or even two or three months from now? This takes us to step four. Step four, you gotta just keep it easy. If they're not ready or if they shut it down, make it easy, it's no big deal. This isn't the patient rejecting you or not wanting to follow your medical advice. This isn't about you at all, actually. This is not you asking the patient on a date. You're not proposing and they're saying no to you. They're just not ready. And it's important to respond with something along the lines of, yeah, that's, that's okay. I understand you've got plenty to focus on right now. I'm happy to support you when the time comes that you're feeling a bit more ready. Hopefully this feels a bit more easy breezy and a bit less awkward. And make sure if this is something you related to today that you go ahead and subscribe because we've got more information on nicotine replacement and smoking cessation and how to help our patients with tobacco use cessation coming. That's the Reinhardt's Rundown.